Welcome to Your Daily Dose, a devotion ministry of the Faith Baptist Church of Franklin and Middletown, Ohio. Thanks for joining us each weekday as we share God's Word with you. It's your daily prescription for all that ails you. And now, Your Daily Dose. Well, hi everybody. Matt here from Faith Baptist Church with Your Daily Dose today. The Daily Dose is a daily devotional ministry that our church has where myself and others from the church uh, have a devotion online that you can uh, listen to and participate with each and every day uh, or, f- or each and every weekday. And uh, it's good to be with you today. I always enjoy this and look forward to it. And um, I, th- I appreciate you taking a little bit of time out of your day today to spend it with us. Well, I want to speak to you today out of the book of Obadiah. Obadiah. That's not one you hear spoken from too often. I don't preach a whole lot of sermons out of Obadiah. You don't hear a whole lot of lessons or devotions or sermons from the book of Obadiah. Uh, It's an Old Testament minor prophet of only one chapter. So we'll be, of course, in chapter 1. But uh, uh, I want to speak to you from Obadiah verses 3 and 4. Verses 3 and 4. It says, The pride of thine heart hath deceived thee, thou that dwelleth in the clefts of the rock, whose habitation is high, that saith in his heart, Who shall bring me down to the ground? Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, and though thou set thy nest among the stars, thence will I bring thee down, saith the Lord. So Obadiah was a prophet, uh, the, the approximate date of his ministry was 848 B.C. to 841 B.C. And he was a prophet to the children of Judah. And it's interesting because he was the first prophet chronologically. You, you look at, uh, there's, there's five major prophets. There's 12 minor prophets in the, in the Old Testament for a total of 17 writing prophets and they are not in chronological order. If they were in chronological order, Obadiah would be first. He was the first chronologically of the prophets, and he was a prophet to the children of Judah, and he was also a prophet to the Gentile nation of Edom. And you can find more about the the background of Obadiah's life in 2 Kings chapters 8 through 12. That kind of gives you the, the historical story, the narrative, of what was going on in in Judah and in Edom uh, when Obadiah was on the scene. Uh, The book of Obadiah is largely addressed to the Edomites. And we know that in 2 Kings chapter number, uh, chapters 8 through 10, we read about a rebellion of the Edomites uh, 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 against the children of Judah, specifically in chapter 8, verses 20, through 22. And really the Edomites had been a thorn in Israel's side their entire existence. But in 2 Kings chapter 8, they rebelled against the Israelites because they thought they were stronger than the Israelites because of the mountainous terrain that the Edomites possessed. Uh, if you, you know, I've never served in the military, but you don't have to be in the military or be a military strategist to, to have heard before that in military combat, you always want to secure the high ground. And the Edomites had secured the high ground. In fact, it says in verse number three, they dwelled in the clefts of the rock, and that's what gave them so much confidence. That's why they you know, felt superior to the Israelites but God reminded the Edomites that though they, though they dwell in a secure habitation, they, they you know, still uh, weren't stronger than God. So my thought today in the devotion is this. A lot of times I speak to people that are hurting. As a pastor, you speak to hurting people. You speak to people that are, that are going through difficulty. Very seldom does somebody come to me and say, Pastor, I got to talk to you. I need some help. And when we sit down and start to talk, they, I say, well, what, what's going on? And they say, everything's just going great right now. 
Uh, I, I'm just having one success after another, one victory after another, and I just don't know how to handle it. Uh, that doesn't happen very often, if ever. Uh, most of the time, people come to, to, to their pastor or you know to a friend or whatever the case might be because they feel like they are in adversity. They're in a storm. They're in a valley. Um, but here's an example of, of God telling some people to be careful when they were on the mountaintop. Be careful when they were experiencing a season of success. Now, success is not the danger. Um, uh, you know, there, there's nothing sinful about uh, prosperity. There's nothing sinful about things going well in your life. Just because things are going well in your life does, isn't a sign that you've gotten off in sin. Uh, you know, there, uh, it does, it's not a universal sign uh, that you've wandered away from God if things are going well for you. Uh, the, the danger is not the success. The danger is self-exaltation. In verse number four, we see, though thou exalt thyself as the eagle. That's the mistake that they were making. They were exalting themselves. They were not uh, walking in humility, and they were trusting in their fortification. They thought that because of where they lived, they were invincible, and that is a dangerous dangerous place to get to. Uh, oftentimes when I, when I speak to people, I'm speaking to the hurting. I'm speaking to those that are, that are struggling. I'm speaking to those that are in a storm. Today I want to speak to somebody that, that might not be in a storm, but you're in the bright sunshine. You're not in a valley, you're on the mountaintop. You're not going through hard times, you're going through great times. You're not in adversity, you're in prosperity. And I'm, I'm just here to remind you today, walk with God and depend upon God the same in the prosperity that you would in the adversity. Because the reality is we need God as much when we prosper as when we suffer. We still need God exactly the same. But the problem is when we prosper, we have a tendency to uh, credit it to ourselves. Let me give you a couple of verses, uh, if I could, this morning on the subject of pride. The first one You've heard this before probably, but it's in Proverbs 16. Proverbs chapter 16 and uh, verse 18. Proverbs 16, 18, it says this. Pride goeth before destruction, and a haughty spirit before a fall. Friend, prosperity is not what makes you fall. But when you start to get a haughty, exalted lifted up, high-minded attitude, proud attitude, the devil's got you right where he wants you. And God says that that spirit, if it's not corrected quickly, always leads to destruction and a fall. And then let me just give you one other one in Matthew, in the Gospel of Matthew chapter 23. Matthew chapter 23 and verse number 12, Jesus said this, Matthew 23, let's look at verse 11 first. But he that is greatest among you shall be your servant. Uh, and whosoever shall exalt himself. That's exactly what Obadiah was writing about in verse 3. Uh, I'm sorry, verse 4. Whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased or brought low. When we lift ourselves up, God has to bring us back low. Uh, and, who, and, whoso, and he that humble himself shall be exalted. So you see that paradox of how this works. Uh, when we lift ourselves up, when we exalt ourselves, God has to bring us down. But if we will keep ourselves humble, if we will stay small, so to speak, God will exalt you in due time. So if things are going well for you today, don't be ashamed of that. Don't be embarrassed of that. And don't try to sabotage that. It's, it's where God has you right now. Make sure though that you don't exalt yourself and become high-minded because of the success. Our Heavenly Father, we love you today and we thank you for your word. And I pray that uh, we would all uh, take to heart and take to mind uh, what we see here in the book of Obadiah. I pray that we would not trust in our circumstances, but trust in the God of our circumstances. The Edomites were had a false sense of security because they felt like they lived in a secure place. And so they were trusting in their circumstances 
and they found out that circumstances can change very quickly. So Lord, ne- never allow us to, to cause, or, or never allow our circumstances to cause us to become dependent upon self and prideful and arrogant. Protect us from these things today is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thank you for being with me today for a few moments. It's always a joy to be with you, and we'll see you the next time. God bless you. This has been your Daily Dose, a ministry of Faith Baptist Church. Subscribe to our YouTube channel today and click the bell next to the button to sign up for email notifications each time we live stream or release a new video. To learn more about faith, please visit our website, fitinatfaith.com, for more information about our church. Have a great day in the Lord.